the young Syed Haider Raza was a restless soul for sure. His primary school teacher once asked him to continuously stare at a dot on the wall inside the classroom as punishment to calm his mind. It was a little exercise that was to change the meaning of life for Raza who turned the simple bindu into a work of art before raising it to the status of life itself. This artist has created a visual so powerful, so meaningful, you'd see some version of it wherever the theme of wellness is mentioned. The son of a forest ranger, Sayyid Haider Raza, along with his family, lived near the source of the Narmada River in the center of the dense forests of Madhya Pradesh. Nights in the forest would have been hallucinating. Sometimes the only humanizing influence would have been the dancing of the Gond tribes. Raza experimented with a number of modernist styles, but it's probably his work in abstract expressionism and later geometric abstraction for which he is most famous. This kind of visual correlative to a philosophic reach into the time-space continuum is seen in his Bindu series. This added newer dimensions to his thematic oeuvre in the following decades with the inclusion of themes around the Tribhuj, the triangle, which bolstered Indian concepts of space and time. Later, Raza abandons the expressionistic landscape for a geometric abstraction and the Bindu. Yeah, the same Bindu his school teacher punished him with. He perceives the Bindu as the center of creation and existence and the vocabulary of color as well as an impromptu narrative of energy and sound. Raza easily eclipses a nearly 60 inch square canvas with a colossal black circle. He's done it. In 1953, long before this black dot emerged on S. H. Raza's canvas, he composed a painting titled Black Sun. A string of houses in cubist contours are seen, brazed with seared ochre. Look, this desolate townscape is suspended under a dark orb, which the artist identifies as the black sun. This dark form through which no light can pass looms over the cityscape, foreshadowing the arrival of the primordial dot in the 1970s that would prevail over his mature artistic canon. Over five long decades, he would paint this dot or the bindu in various iterations like a sadhak or a seeker, repeating a prayer again and again to attain perfect consciousness of the divine. He used color not merely to distinguish forms, but as a new medium, a language that gives an organic feeling and palpability to his paintings, distilling the visible form to an abstract motif. In Bindu, La Terre, French for the earth, he has a phase where he paints everything brown. In the late 1950s, he largely was inspired by the rolling vistas and village architecture of rural France, which he encountered for the first time on his travels around the country. During this period, Raza's technique became influenced by his exposure to the painterly styles and techniques of expressionism and the non-naturalistic color palette of post-impressionist artists like César and Van Gogh. Titled Tam Sunya, dated 1994, this painting confronts us with an expanse of black, a color Raza recognizes as the mother color from which all other tones emanate. Rothko's world opens up a lot of interesting associations for me. Raza said that. It was so different from the insipid realism of the European school. It was like a door that opened to another interior vision. Yes, yes, Raza, like many of us, just needed to open up his mind and really see, but not just with his eyes. There is this one thing that remains constant throughout his career. His mastery of color, which he deployed in variously rich combinations juxtaposing reds, green, blue and oranges with tremendous use of black. It's not easy, you need confidence. Raza relies on color rather than form and texture as stylistic devices to communicate an emotional experience of a place 
instead of a strictly visual one <laughs> we know raza sahab's life's work cannot be summarized in a short video you need time lots of time you'll get it <laughs> maybe do what he did stare at a bindu eyes wide open or eyes wide shut the art of raza will awaken you this video is brought to you by the piramal museum of art and the raza foundation please subscribe to art history plus please like comment and please share this video thank you